Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and I'm here with a reading um, it's a pick a pile but you can watch both piles if you feel guided to and this is about messages from the goddess so guidance for anybody, it doesn't have to be feminine, it can be masculine energies if you feel guided to look at this reading, just some guidance for the current times so thank you so much for watching, supporting my channel if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my videos. Please press the like button, share, subscribe and comment down below to get entered into my competition for the month of September when it's my birthday. And I will be doing a giveaway of a card deck of my design or a free reading to somebody who's made a comment down below of whether you've liked, shared or subscribed. So we've got two piles to choose from. So we've got Lady Portia. These are the Ascended Master cards. And Lady Nada. So these are people that went on that spiritual journey and really ascended. And they're in that different dimension offering us advice and guidance. So pick your pile. So we start with Lady Portia. Lady Portia. So Lady Portia... She's the Ascended Master of Justice. She helps to bring balance and new opportunity into our lives. So that's very positive. So let's look at your messages. So we've got Saint... Oh, sorry. Picked up two. We've got Joan of Arc, the Warrior of Light. I have a still light faith in myself and the angels armour me with conviction. So let's find out a little bit about Joan of Arc. She was a very young warrior. She represents the power we all possess when we're aligned with our calling. She is legendary heroine in France for her role in the Hundred Years' War. At the age of 13, she had a vision that would change the course of her life. She relates later after being captured by the English, that she would have preferred to stay in a hometown spinning wall, but the power of her vision was so strong and she had to follow the voice she heard, and the vision was of Archangel Michael with many angels, and she saw them and she said they saw her and she wept, and Archangel Michael told her she was dri meant to drive the English out from France. She dressed in men's armour, and she led several campaigns against the English and became a symbol of hope. The power of her conviction, she was acting on God's behalf. She was captured and taken to ruin and she was condemned and sentenced to death in May of 1431. 25 years later, her mum, Isabel Romy, as well as other people, demanded a a retrieval and 115 witnesses were called to testify to her defence and she was declared innocent in 1456 and canonised in May of 1920. So she was very much driven by her guidance. She followed her guidance even though it got her into a bit of trouble obviously and difficult circumstances but she followed her guidance so what is your vision for your life and have that intention to have a still like faith in yourself and the angels armor, armor you with your conviction so what is it that you feel so strongly about in your life okay and we've got saint bridget our lady of exalted light I, get, I give endlessly because the light is without end. My soul is all I need. So yeah, your soul is the light within you. And follow that light. Be the light in the world. Okay, we're here to evolve and grow. And be the light in the world. To lead the way for others. And we have Mio Shan, the princess of mercy. Giving is receiving. The energy of the universe is merciful. So... Be merciful, you know, be merciful in your own life, be forgiving, you know, forgive yourself, forgive others, have mercy for others. And we have Gaia here, Earth, 
So stay connected to the earth, get grounded, really ground yourself into the earth at this time. And you can see the image here, she's pregnant, okay, that could be something that's coming in for some of you watching this part. Maybe you're going to um, have a child in the future, get pregnant, or you're going to really get pregnant with your creativity and, and, you know, produce something amazing. And we have Nick's secrets. So we all have secrets in life and... You know, it's about honouring yourself. You know, what is it you feel compelled to keep a secret? And what can you share? And if others obviously give you their secrets, um, it's honouring that, isn't it? Honouring their secret, honouring the fact that they they trusted you to keep their secret. Yeah, we've got creation again. So I definitely feel for some of you... There could be, you know, you could be getting pregnant in the near future. You could already be pregnant. But there's something you're going to create, you know, whether it be a child or a project or an endeavour. And we've got resurrection here. So something is going to get revived in your life. Something is going to come back from the dead, as it were. And it could be a connection. Maybe this is going to get resurrected. And we've got morality. So I feel you live your life with morality. Morality. You live by your own code, you know, you follow your own moral compass. So now we're going to get a message from Isis. And we've got the miracle of Isis, miraculous healing of the goddess. So let's get your message. Isis was known as a talented practitioner of the healing arts and was capable of miraculous healings. For you, beloved, she offers a miracle healing. No matter how much you have struggled with a particular matter, no matter how impossible it may seem to imagine your life without this old wound, addiction, problem, relationship, issue or inner struggle being a part of it, you are guided now to accept the possibility of miraculous healing to let go and let the goddess be. Beautiful. So something in your life is going to get healed. So there's an incantation here and it says love and light, peace and power, miracle healing descends this hour, the wings of ice is drenched with feeling, nothing escapes a miracle healing, surrender to her from my heart so true, which is now exactly what I choose to do, gratitude to Isis for the miracle coming to me, her love and grace now set me free, beautiful, beautiful energies. So there's a healing on its way to you. And we've got the number 21, which is the year we're in, and fertility and creation again. So very strong messages about creation in this pile here, um, that you're very fertile. I've just noticed, <laughs> I've just noticed this on the card that somebody is standing to attention there. I hadn't noticed that before. So yeah, this could be definitely, and we had the resurrection, so this could definitely be you coming into union with somebody and creating, you know, creating a child together or creating a project or, or a business or something together, getting creative. So let's cover that up. <laughs> so we've got um, the white light oracle here. So this is Tantra. So let's get your message. And there's a killer, uh, hertz, 639 hertz. So be open to which seems unfamiliar or different. You will experience a breakthrough as you embrace an unusual approach. You are on a soul path of accelerated spiritual growth, which is swifter but not always easier. You do not have to contrive your own happiness, but you can dip into the bliss within your body to lighten your mental state and remind yourself everything is working out beautifully. So a beautiful message. And the other message I got from looking at the card is you could be, you know, as I said, some of you could be reconnecting with somebody and you're going to come into that tantric union with somebody. You're going to experience that tantra, that tantric loving connection with somebody. Beautiful. So we have the goddess of psychic protection here. What you believe you create, no one can harm you. So they want you to know you are protected at this time, okay? But if you feel vulnerable or unsafe you can always call on Archangel Michael um, to cover you with his cloak of protection 
Um, but what you focus on grows, what you believe you create. So focus on the good in all things. Focus on the good in your life and protect yourself with that positive energy. And we've got Angel of Union. A partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. So again, I feel for people that pick this pile, there is definitely a union coming in with you and another. And it's going to be a very blessed union. So it's beautiful messages. And the goddess of the unknown, a new chapter of your life is around the corner. Remove fear and embrace the unknown. So beautiful again, we don't always know exactly what's going to happen and we're not meant to. So just be open to that, open to what is around the corner, this new chapter. Don't be fearful, just embrace the new beginning, the new newness coming in. So finally, some messages from our uh, Mother Mary. So we've got children and again... My heart is filled with love for children, which creates miracles and positive change for them and me. So again, very strong message that some of you in this pile are, are going to have a child, okay? Um, some of you could already have children, okay? You could be a loving parent already, and it changes you, you know, when you become a mum. I'm a mum to three grown-up children, and it's, you know, it's difficult being a parent. It's not easy, but it's amazingly rewarding it's challenging you know it's full of laughter full of tears but it, it you know opens up your life to so much more and you can learn so much from your children so I definitely feel some of you are going to have a child in the future and we've got marriage here again I don't know why I said again I make a commitment to a healthy relationship with God, myself and my partner. So for this poll, this definitely does seem to be a rebirth for some of you. It could be somebody new coming in, but a new beginning. I didn't expect these for these messages, but that is the message I have for you. So there's a marriage on the horizon, a union on the horizon and children on the horizon. And just stay open and positive and optimistic. So there are your messages, part one. Thank you for watching. Love and blessings. Hello party, you chose Lady Nada, another Ascended Master. And she was the Ascended Master of female and male energy. She helps to bring peace and harmony to our lives and balancing energy. So yes, I mean, those of us on that journey, we're, we're very much trying to balance our masculine and feminine energies within us. You know, this is a constant thing that's evolving right now. So we have Mary of Nazareth, the mother of God. I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. So let's learn a bit more about her. She represents the profound spiritual and creative power we all possess. Mary, or Miriam in Hebrew, was a first century Galilean Jewish woman from Nazareth who is one of the most crucial figures in the Christian tradition because she gave birth to Jesus Christ. She has been venerated since the inception of Christianity and holds a revered position in Islam. Her many names include Saint Mary, Virgin Mary, Queen of Heaven, Our Lady of the Angels, Our Lady of Good Counsel, Our Lady Undo of Knots, She Who Confirms the Truth, and Theotokos, which means God-bearer or mother of God. The Gospel of Luke relates that when Mary was engaged to Joseph, the Archangel Gabriel visited her and he announced, or she announced, what joy, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. The angel said, the Holy Spirit will descend on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you and therefore the child will be called Holy and Son of God. And Mary responds, let it be with me as you have said. She is present throughout her son's ministry and when he appears at the temple at twelve and declares that he is his true home and he turns water to wine at the wedding in Cana and when he's crucified she is said to have remained at his side along with Mary Magdalene. She personifies the steadfast and unconditional love of the archetypal mother. The title Mother of God was recognised at the Council of Ephesus in 431 CE and best captures the power of her yes to the archangel Gabriel. He hands her a lily in the Annunciation to symbolise the Trinity and to honour the fact that without her yes, the Christian story would not have unfolded. Soul voice meditation, I am in service to the light within me. Intention, I am blessed, my courage gives birth to the divine. Beautiful. So it's having that courage to say yes.
to what your guidance is. What are you guided to do? What is that message you're getting? And it's having that courage to move forward and commit to that. And we have K. Dijar, the mother of believers. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself. So beautiful. So this is having that belief in yourself. This is having that belief that you're worthy, that you're deserving of being abundant in your life in all ways. And it's manifesting that for yourself. And we have Lalita, the red goddess. Playfulness is a spiritual power. Laughter leads me back to the light. So maybe it's time for you to find that light-heartedness in your life, that playfulness. It's been very difficult in the world. And it's time to find that in you, that playfulness, that laughter. What makes you laugh? What makes you feel light-hearted and playful? So bring that back into your energy. And we have Danu, Assurance. So I feel that your guides and angels are assuring you that all is well with you at this time. And we've got the beautiful colour blue of the throat chakra. And maybe you need to do some affirmations to make yourself feel more positive at this time. And we have Artemis, Focus. And again, when you're manifesting, it is setting that focus, that intention, focusing on what it is, the outcome you want, what you're desiring. So set your intention, set your focus for what it is you truly desire for yourself. And have the courage in your life, have the courage to move forward and to, you know, realise that you are worthy, you are worthy of being abundant. And look after yourself at this time, be in that energy of self-care, self-love, you know, really take care of yourself right now. Be your own best friend. And we have enchantment. So, you know, be enchanted in your life. I'm sure that other people are enchanted by you. Find the enchantment in your life. What is it that you can be enchanted by? What is leading you on? What makes you feel positive? <clears throat> and a message from Isis, Portal of Light. She glides on wings through time and space. So let's get the message. It is only this physical reality that is bound by time and space. You are a being conscious on levels beyond the physical world. You are guided to work with your healing powers beyond the confines of time and space and to allow your sense of self to expand. It is safe for you to do this now. You will not become ungrounded through such spiritual growth. You are not leaving your earthly awareness. You are instead adding to it. Wow. <coughs> So don't be afraid to move through time and space because we are energetic beings of light in, in truth, in reality. And we have Hathor, love and music. So I feel that music is very good for manifesting and have that love, you know, that love in your heart, that compassionate self-love, that love for others. Be in the energy of love. That's the highest vibration of all. And together, love and music can create miracles, I feel. Beautiful. So this is the White Light Oracle and we've got QPO Dissolve. So let's get your message. It's time to let go. Things are working out in their own way. Trust your heart is wise and is leading you on a soul healing journey and the right spiritual path. Spirit wants you to bring you a blessing and a resolution, but you must let go and allow it to happen. Events are unfolding according to a higher plan. Even if your plans are going awry, know that all will come together at the right time. And in the best way, surrender your struggle and hold on to your faith. Beautiful. So let go. Stop trying to control everything. Everything is a higher plan, a higher purpose. Everything will work out in divine timing, in divine order. Just trust, surrender and let go right now. So we have the angel of finances. Honour and give thanks for the blessings you're about to receive. Beautiful. So the guidance and the message for you is that there is financial abundance coming in and blessings coming in. So be grateful. Be in that energy of gratitude. And the goddess of knowledge. Start to apply what you already know. Trust your intuition. So her third eye is on fire there. Okay, she's holding like a, a crystal ball of light. So tap into your intuition, 
you know, work with that, trust it. The more you use it, the, the more stronger it becomes. Tap into your higher self, connect with your guides and angels at this time. And we have Goddess of Oneness. Someone you love is thinking fondly of you at the moment. How beautiful is that? Okay, so synchronicities here. There is somebody that you're thinking of that is also thinking of you in the energy of love. Beautiful. So messages from Mother Mary. We've got tenderness. I'm both gentle and powerful. Yes, you can be. You can be tender. You can be gentle. And you can be powerful in that energy. It's having those boundaries. Having your inner sense of knowing of who you are. And being strong in that. And you don't have to be aggressive in that. You can be gentle in that energy. And gratitude. I just said that. So as I notice and appreciate my blessings. I open the door. To more of God's gifts. So beautiful. Be in that energy of gratitude. Because the more we're in that energy of gratitude. The more we have to be grateful for. And once you start thinking or writing down that list of what you're grateful for. It gets longer and longer every time. There is so much to be grateful for. So sending you lots of love and blessings. Take care. Bye for now.